Yeah. <coughs> so, hi folks. You know, yeah, what I've got here <coughs> is, uh, well, to be honest, I don't have this, I actually have a bloody clue. <laughs> Apart from it's a, uh, something like a pre electric separator, um, <coughs> which does something by uh, ionising the air particles, um, making them heavier, and either. I assume they stick inside the um, <laughs> the cells, or it becomes heavy, and vice versa. Because uh, if I just simply open it up, yeah, yeah, bastard! <laughs> nice your cells. As you can see, they're all pretty. Um, as you can see, the cells you got <coughs> the outside, which is just the fin, and then you got the inside one here, which is the live one. Now you can tell it's live because if I just <coughs> get it on its end, you can see you've got a contact there, which probably is a good flipping clean. And here you've got your um, your isolator between, obviously. You know the the middle fins and the uh, outer fins. So that's one half of it. Obviously, that's what you see from the outside. Ooh, very nice. That's where the air sucked in through, etc. Yeah. Obviously, typical fan. And uh, obviously down here I've got some electrics and shit, I mean, uh, <coughs> this here is a switch which pokes through the hole here, <coughs> and when the cover goes on, there's a little tab there in the corner, just there uh, somewhere, that um, pushes on the switch, but to see if it's anything, everything's working, with the top off, a bit of tape always works, so get that fuck off there. I think just somehow. Uh, yeah, busted. Uh, that one just goes on like that. Um, screwdriver. That one just sits on here. <coughs> but what I'd like to know is if anybody out there has actually got any sort of know know how about this sort of thing, it would be pretty awesome. Uh, because I've been trying to blow donks now, trying to find any sort of history for it. You know. uh, yeah, I'm very, very new to all this YouTube fucking stuff. Swedish! Haha. Now, yeah. Yeah, I've got some wi a wiring diagram here. Yeah, maybe you can see that. Um, yeah, it's all pretty. I know it's made somewhere in the what's the car you can see it. Uh, Witcher Ken Kansas Kansas. I don't know. It's high voltage, six thousand volts to the cells. Yes, people. And obviously, this is what you'd see hanging off the ceiling. Alright, that one goes there, that one on there, let's see if it works. Um, hello, 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 oh shit. Do it the mechanic way.
Oh, ja, maar ja, meer zijn bossen. Maar meer zijn bossen. I'm getting a lovely sounds like a bug zapper. That sort of coming from the cells. Now <coughs> I'm assuming because it's six thousand volts it's a good sound. Okay. Now what is kinda of creeping me out here, really fucking really creeping me out is the fact of it's like forty, fifty years old this thing. And I don't know if that's a good sound of it, it's working, or a sound of Don't do that again, you're going to fry yourself. Ah, it's fine now. It's working. <coughs> Love it. Swedish. Now, so, Swedish. I think I'm quite that. <laughs> yeah, um, obviously you might need a reference. Obviously. Ah, uh, yeah, bastard. It's made by Electromade. Yeah, it's 6,000 volts. Fuck knows how old it is. Obviously, if you've got any queries or anything which you could tell me. Oh, this fucking thing works. Right. If anything. Yeah, it's sort of. Because there's nothing in no sort of model number. Um, I'm probably assuming it's probably 50s or something. Ah, uh, yeah, it's Yeah, you bastard. Ah, fuck it, you can say shut. <coughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, that's one big old unit. Obviously, that's how it would look if it's on the ceiling, sort of looking at that kind of thing. And then look like that somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> so that's that's basically what it is. So yeah, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, I'll probably do a few more updates on the different things I got to work on. Yeah, I'll bump up from one day. If you bought some things, Kirby, the belt sand down there. I've got to get running. Um, <coughs> machines. When you set a blaze that one. That's a motor I've just restored. Da, 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 da. Got a lamp to get running. That one there. I've got a rama fuse up to my yeah, you can't see that, let's have another look. Uh, to my AC system, which has still got to be plumbed in. Right here. There should be that doesn't sound good. There should be a video on that sooner or later about uh, what to use for it. Um, gas or oh, it's R22, but I want to find out what actually anything decent like water or suction or compress or compressed air or something like something which should make it work. So that's one. <laughs> that's what I sort out. Also, just installed that one. I'll be doing one on cleaning it and surfacing it and bearings and shit like that. Um, <laughs> well, that one running. Bench grinder. There'll be another one there. That thing's got to be taken apart and given a good clean. Because uh, it is definitely in need of it. Um, probably one on the motor down there which powers this unit. That can be cleaned up as well. Radiator for the, the Dodge. Uh, which uh, should be a few. Uh, should be a video along the sides here somewhere. If you go onto my channel, I'll tell you. And I'll show you the work in progress. That is a radiator for it. <laughs> Bandsaw. Uh, made mine. Etc. That's another motor down there that's got to be sorted out. Cooker hood to have a look at. The Kirby to finish off. Another four Porsche to get going. That's another more parts of the truck set of stainless steel wing motors and shit. So, <laughs> yeah. It's all good shit. Right. Tighter.